The machines are coming for better or worse. Jobs will be slashed, but can they also be created as we adapt? Some fast food companies aren't standing still while the debate continues. Ordering lunch, for example, is now becoming somewhat different. There may be no friendly smile, but you can't fault how it registers your order. Slick and quick. However, it does hint at how more and more people are being replaced by artificial intelligence. And it's right at your doorstep. While some unions and workers are in panic mode, experts suggest it's the employer that needs to gear up for serious restructuring. When the fax machine came into being, what was the impact on the messenger that used to take a piece of a, a parcel from one person to the next? He learned a new skill. He learned how to utilize a fax machine. He was equipped to, do with, to deal with other work within the organization. So as the 4IR shapes up, which jobs are most likely to go? Repetitive, mundane kind of jobs, so administrative type of jobs that can be lost. Already if you look at call centers, most things now we do, we use chatbots or we have an automated telephonic service. So click one for option this, click two for that option, etc., etc. The normal vanilla advice from attorneys are certainly going to be impacted. Surgical procedures amongst doctors, uh, uh, surgeons, the way that they uh, take out their skill is going to fundamentally change. Mining is a big one, but again, they, like I say, I think we need to balance the loss of human life versus having automation. While robotics, digital technology and artificial intelligence are important areas on which to focus, these experts reckon so-called softer skills will be most needed. You're going to need to have skilled HR practitioners. You're going to need industrial relations psychologists. Because no matter what artificial intelligence you have, no matter what computer system you put in place, they can never ever compensate for the human touch. Our research shows that young millennials, at the end of the day, when it comes to a point of sale and making that final decision and signing, they want a warm body. They want to speak to a person, not a computer. So while change is already here, for some, being able to look someone in the eye is still important. Avi Wem Johannesburg.